This activity challenge is called Hot Air Balloons. What I want to do is I want to start off by giving you an overview of what's going to happen. I talk about the materials that you'll need. I want to show a couple of demonstrations and then finish up with the science behind this. So the overview, we've got, uh, <coughs> we're have going to have garbage bags. We're going to use a toaster and the heat from the toaster is going to fill the garbage bag. The garbage bag is going to go up in the air. That's our hot air balloon. Okay, so the materials that you're going to need, you're going to need a garbage bag. This happens to be a, a garbage bag that I got from uh, my janitor here today. Uh, also, just uh, normal garbage bags from home work fine, like the 13 gallon, and the cheaper ones work the best. If you get a high quality, heavier bag, it'll still work, but not as well. So try to find the cheapest bags that you can. Uh, you're going to need some cardboard. So I tried to make up my drawing here, which is hard to see. Um, some cardboard to surround the toaster to keep the bag from coming into contact with it. So each time I do this, I grab a different piece of cardboard, and I had just this uh, this old piece of cardboard laying around here, and uh, I taped it up, and I kind of left an opening down here at the bottom where I could uh, turn the toaster on, turn the toaster off if need be. Uh, so I set this over top of the toaster. So just any any um, cardboard to to surround that. Paper clips. Uh, just little ones, little paper clips, uh, giving the students several of those to experiment with and then try some things would be good. And uh, and that should be good. Oh, and the toaster. You need a toaster. Just as a side note here, if you're bringing a toaster from home, make sure there aren't any breadcrumbs in it. Otherwise, uh, you're going to smell up your room and your your school, if that's the case. And people are going to think that things are burning, like bread. So um, make sure your toaster is cleaned out. Or if you bring in a couple toasters, make sure those are cleaned out. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to transition into a couple of demos so that you can see how this works. So it's been sitting on there for a little while, maybe about two minutes. I'm going to let go of it, and we'll see what happens. And it flies up, and it comes back down. You notice that when the bottom got maybe to right about there, and then it tipped sideways. And the side that it tipped sideways, if the students want to mark that so they know where to uh, maybe add more weight setting for maybe about a minute, minute and a half. See if we start to let go, it's uh, it's wanting to rise, so we do have lift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing it up kind of near the top here, making sure we don't catch on anything, and then I'll let it go and we'll see how high it goes. All right, and that one there went right about that height. Okay, so you saw from those uh, demonstrations that we, we I had the bag, just quickly setting that up, go anywhere from two to four feet in the air um, above the toaster. Some students at the beginning, they're going to struggle, and the, the bag's going to come off, and it's going to immediately tip sideways, and, you know, they won't get much height at all. Their group will have to brainstorm, you know, what happened, how can we fix that, and side note, uh, putting paper clips on the bottom, spacing them out uh, works best, and, and what I did is I spaced them out thirds. I used three paper clips and I went around the bottoms. Some groups, they might get their balloon to go all the way to the ceiling. In this case in here, it's uh, nine foot ceilings, and, and sometimes uh, the bags will make it all the way up to the ceiling. Now, in the student activity sheets that they have to fill out the student instructions, it's going to ask them uh, the height that their balloon went. So you as the teacher, you're the judge on that, and you might have a couple of meter sticks uh, taped to the wall, and then you're calling off how high it goes, either the bottom or the top, your choice. Uh, but you could also, and I put this as an optional, uh, include... Uh, stopwatches for the students and you at the end you could have a discussion what's what's a better indication of a, of a good balloon flight would it be uh, height or would it be uh, the time that we use with the stopwatches so that's something optional you as a teacher can do science behind this what's happening is we have uh, gas the air up here and it's getting hot because of the toaster and when the air heats up the molecules are moving faster they're moving fast, but they're colliding with each other, they're spreading out. So the air molecules that were inside this garbage bag now, they're moving faster, they're spreading out, and some of that air is being pushed out the bottom of the balloon. Now that's not what propels it up, but it pushes the air out so that there is less air inside this bag. There's less air because it's taking up uh, more space, each of them. So as we look at our equation for density, mass divided by volume, if we have less mass because there's less gas molecules in the bag, then that's going to create a lower density. 
And if this is less dense than the air surrounding it, that's going to provide lift on our balloon and it's going to go up.